everyone welcome back to abra knowledge channel in this video i am going to tell you a very important point that many people are not aware of and how to generate the random number without having an example directly we can allow many tap to give that example to you right how to do it like for example let's say i am just taking few example example 1 and there are three example i would like to fetch example 2 and example 3 right so now what i will do is i'll just go to calculator and random data this is very most powerful one whenever you want you don't have an example you wanted to explain some topic and you wanted to fetch the data and you don't have a data handy and this is the random data you can take it so maybe there are many ways we can do it whatever the thing but what i will do is a normal data i will take it so it will give a bell curve distribution and i will explain the bell curve also as well in may in the later videos i might also explaining the other topic like poisson distributions and binomial and so on so let's talk about the normal one and in that number of rows uh, of data to generate i'm going to give only 5 right and i'm going to store in example 1 and whenever the normal distribution when you say normal distribution is always mean equal to 0 standard deviation equal to 1 i'm going to give okay same settings i have not change anything give okay so now it has populated the value you can see random value it has populated exactly in the same thing i'll give control e i'll do the same exercise now i will get it 50 data and i'm going to store in example 2 exam 2 right so in the exam 2 i'm going to store so you can see that exam 2 also the data is there the 50 data is ready now what i will do is i will create the random data of 1 million data like you can see here i will generate 1 million 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 0 1 million data i'm going to keep it in example 3 and the same logic goes mean is 0 standard deviation is 1 all 1 million data within a fraction of second the values are been populated as you can see all it has it has that n equal to 1 million right so now what i will do is i am going to explain that the bell curve before i go to the bell curve i just wanted to explain very importantly if the value is n value there is something called we central limit theorem right if the if the value n value is more that mean perfect bell curve we get it to do that before i explain and bell curve will let me explain that graphical summary in the graphical summary what i will do i will take all the values and confidence level is 95 percentage is generating the values and you can see the values are populated so this is for maybe i will keep it all the three values separately and then the next value you can see uh, that is example 2 i will keep it here the where we have given that n equal to 50 i will keep it here and the last example is i will keep it here this is the 1 million data which we talked about right so i will keep it here if you see the difference uh, is one and here you have the mean value 0.44 and more importantly if you see that skewness value and uh, kurtosis value is uh, less than 1 right so n equal to 5 right so this is almost like a negative skew mean value is here median is here and if you see that skewness is uh, it has been skewed on the left side right so this is the one and you can see this uh, histogram is been well and very fatty uh, well you know you can see the width is too high and the same thing if you go to that 50 i increase that phi data to 50 data the bell curve is getting sharp right 
and now the skewness value 0.4 this is slightly positive skewed uh, we, uh, we can say it is a symmetrical one but slightly positive skewed and then you have catastasis value uh, minus 0.2 right n equal to 50 so and then you can see here this is the, this where the mean stands and this was the me median because it's left is skewed and this is positive uh, you know this is towards the it is it is minus it is left is skewed it is uh, positively skewed that means on the right side so if you see here more important if you pay attention to the graph histogram you can see here it is more fatty and slightly better it is coming like good one the perfect the very perfect bell curve you get it here right perfect bell curve all the values are here so i have taken n equal to 1 million and all these value is there right so this is uh, again if you wanted to do it, uh, the, the, you see the cortasis skewness value, not highly shifted, perfect symmetrical one. And then cortasis value also shows very good and n equal to 1 million. So this is one which you can easily generate the data. I, I didn't have any data. I just asked many tab to generate the data. It generated automatically. The same thing, if you wanted to do that graph also, you can do that. Go to graph, histogram, and particularly I wanted to do it both the graph right example one and two i wanted to compare you can compare right so this is the one and uh, example number three i wanted to have it separately because it's a huge one so you can see that blue line that example one and the standard deviation is coming down the, the, the two is that 50 sample so more data in the basic thumb rule the golden rule of the statistic is more data more good point right let me do the same thing for 1 million data also as well example 3 contains 1 million data 1 million data it is getting populated in no time right that's the speciality of mini tab the perfect one perfect you can see here this is a perfect value it has a given right mean equal to zero and the standard deviation is closer to one and all that right so uh, i hope you enjoyed this video and please do remember that to generate the data all you need to do is you need to go to random data and in the random in the calculator random data and normal data if you want let's say let us do it uh, let's 100 right and i'm gonna keep it like in c4 right you can also do that also as well automatically in the c4 column automatically all the 100 values are being stored and uh, if you wanted to further find out the graph and all that you can easily do that i hope you enjoy this video please do like share subscribe my channel you have wonderful day ahead